this is the touch develop editor. Yep, which sure. runs in any browser. So in this case, we're running. Uh, it doesn't look like a browser, but it's, it's Firefox right now. It works in Chrome and in and, and Internet Explorer and stuff. Uh, and the way the students do the store is that they have a simulator. So they have a simulator of the board. They have the board here plugged into the computer. Uh, I, can, I can start doing that coding. So, you know, a popular one is to show your name. Right? So I can say, what's your name? Yeah. And then this computer in particular has a keyboard hidden. So I'm going to skip that. Um, I'm going to show instead uh, an image. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do you know, a popular guy these days. I don't know my uh, This guy is called the Creeper. So I store that in variable and then I can say image uh, show yourself. So I got a two line program uh, and then I can hit play. And at that point, what we do is we, we run your code in, in the browser, right? And you can do that actually without a microbit. Now, you're, you're happy with this, uh, you hit compile. We send the C++ code to uh, our friends at ARM, uh, and then they run that through the compilers, and then they're going to send us back the, the, the firmware, the binary code that needs to go into the microbit. So that will come back as a file, back into the browser, the browser is going to save that, and at that point you usually drag and drop the file into your microbit. Through USB? Through so your USB. Yeah. So it's very simple. In this case, we have a little application that does that for us, and you could see when this happens, you'll see that the light is going to be blinking on the file, so that means the computer is copying the firmware into the microbit. When it's done blinking, you press the system button and you got your app running on your on your board. That's the shape you made, wasn't it? Right. Great. Now, is this software, is this Lancaster University or is this Microsoft? So, we provide the we provide two editors in the browser right now, and then we compile from our language into C++, and we leverage the runtime, the C++ runtime that was written by the Lancaster University folks, yep. which also builds on the ARM, you know, embed platform. Uh, so it's really a, a big ecosystem. Uh, a bunch of partners working together to make this happen. Well, thank you very much. Very, very.